The first night, in regards to our Blessed Mother and her swords that pierced her, the sorrows of Our Lady, we considered the sword of fear and what that fear meant in regards to our Lord being presented in the temple and Simeon initiating the bond between the mother and the son in and through suffering. Now it's important to realize that there is a bond from the very beginning between the mother and the son in regards to the vocation of the son. That vocation would be
same in that manner, then we love everyone. We love everyone because they have been called into this world by His love. And I don't care what others go through and what they become because real love loves real people. And real people have real problems. And these real problems must be brought to their solution. And that is by abandoning them to the Father. Father, I give over to you this Son that I cannot control, that I don't know how to control. I give over to my grandson, but is having great difficulties and I don't know where to go with him. No one can tell me where to go with him. Our love is not capable of it. But, Father, your love is capable of turning this young man back to the faith, turning this young man back to the love that is ultimately what every heart seeks. Every one of our loves is a love on pilgrimage. We are on a pilgrimage to infinite love. We are finite. The finite cannot control the infinite. That is why we say we must abandon ourselves and all persons to the Father in heaven. In that, we then have the infinite absorbing the finite which is the correct way. What happens in many marriages is that the young man, I'm marrying some, taking care of a marriage is coming Saturday. I don't even know that they're ready or not. I mean, I'm just, your good son, throw it into my hands. You know that. I don't know what I'm going to say. But here they are. Yes. Here they are. Two finite individuals thinking that the person that they're going to marry is going to give them infinite happiness. And you laugh, don't you? Because you know it's not true. You're going to find out that two finites, all of a sudden, when they're put together, they then see, "Uh uh-oh, she's got faults. And she says, He's got problems. He says to me, yeah, you know what she does, Father? What does she do? She squeezes the toothpaste from the top. I thought you said you were ready to lay down your life for her. Yeah, but she squeezes the toothpaste from the top. I can't believe this. I've heard it several times. The littlest things, the negatives, repelling, right? The only way we can put these two back together is for them to come to abandon themselves in the cross of Christ. Then, I now learn to love the real person. The one who has faults and failings. I am one person filled with faults and failing myself. And if I want that person to love me, I need to learn to love him in reality not in virtual reality, but reality. How do I come to know and love you, to understand your problems and everything else, and to say, you know, it's not the end of the world. None of your problems are the end of the world. Instead, you are being asked, like Our Lady, to abandon this attachment to a person. And in abandoning that attachment, you learn to love all that God has created, every person. And in loving all and loving God first, then you will begin to know your love through the infinite love of God will somehow transform, transubstantiate that other person. But you cannot manipulate. You cannot use greed. You cannot use possession. You cannot be an idolatry. You must Place God first. Priority number one. And that is what you're going to learn tomorrow in making a plan of life. Priority number one. I must save my soul by glorifying God in all circumstances, persons, places, things, whatever you want to say. But you must have this goal in your mind. And then you start saying, if I am to do that, I must what? 
be at Mass as often as I possibly can be at Mass. Make maybe visits where I can make visits to the Blessed Sacrament. Matt Talbert, the church was locked. He kneeled outside the doggone door for two hours. Imagine. So we've got to make a plan. We've got to understand that the plan is seeking to abandon everything and attach ourselves to the divine love of Christ, that which is given to us in and through the sacrifice of the Mass. And then we say, I now will learn through God how I can love everyone. This lesson comes from the youthful Christ, 12 years of age. Did you not know I must be about my father's business? Today, this youth testifies to the generosity of the father in that they are his tangible gifts to our world. There are two essentials. Like Christ, we must be near and attached to the Father. First essential. Two, like Christ, with those we love, we should be together near the Father. Those are the two essentials. Keeping those in mind, then this gift that God gives to us of the third sword of our Blessed Mother places people, persons, in the proper priority. They are loved in the Father. Loved because of the Son's deep desire to bring them into the kingdom of heaven. And the Holy Spirit infuses us with the wisdom to know how gently, kindly, lovingly express the presence of God for them by my actions and my words. Finally, think about it. Three days of darkness for Joseph and Mary. The experience I told you of the day before concerning things. Flight. Who is it that caused this flight? Jesus. Who is it that threw Joseph and Mary into darkness? Jesus. Who is it that Joseph and Mary sought in order that they might once again find the consolation of God, that which they had lost. They sought God the Father in the temple, and they found, hence, the Son whom they had lost. The pattern is the same. Now it applies to the people. It applies to persons. And it is given to us that we might understand that our families, all of them, are not God. I must not idolatrize them. I must recognize they are real people, real souls. They have their faults and their failings, but I can love them by abandoning them to the hands of the Father through the heart of Mary. All of it can be given in and through Mary to the Father above. And so, as we meditate tonight on Our Lady and the relationship we have with persons, let us ask that we might learn this great truth of abandonment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.